yellow or reddish. Okay. But it looks like it's blowing through. Today, we're setting out to dive the most popular shipwreck in the British Virgin Islands, the wreck of the RMS Roan. An hour ago, the weather was perfect, but as we get ready to dive the stern section, a squall rolls in on us. Yeah, so um, I guess when it passes, we can get going with our dive plan, but the plan is to dive the stern section of the Roan here at Salt Island. Right. Okay. It's been almost an hour surface interval at this point, so once it stops, we can get in. Yes, and we had good timing. It was gorgeous weather on our, our initial dive there on the bow section. If you haven't seen that video, check that out at the end of this one. Uh, but we're going to wait this out and then get in the water. Today, our goal is to find the lucky porthole located on the stern section of the wreck site, which may be a challenge because as the Rhone sank during a hurricane in 1867, she exploded, scattering parts of the ship over a wide area near Salt Island. We're not sure how lucky the porthole actually is, but hey, a little luck never hurt anyone, or maybe it did. I guess we'll find out. Either way, it's considered lucky because it is the only porthole where the glass survived the carnage of both the hurricane and the explosion that occurred near Black Rock Point. Why did you just say me move? Because you can only put one on at a time. The RMS Roan was a fast steam sailor that was owned by the Royal Mail Steam Packet Company and was sunk in a powerful Category 5 hurricane on October 19th, 1867. The 310-foot ship was a two-masted brig, and it's her aft mast that we first come across. It's laying on the sea floor, almost completely intact, and resting parallel to the stern section of the ship. Descending deeper, we decide to explore the midsection of the ship where the explosion occurred. It was here where her boilers that were used to power her steam engine were housed. The day she sank, her captain and crew had been feverishly working to try and save the ship and had made the decision to ride out the backside of the storm at sea. Making a run for the open water during the eye of the storm, she was passing Salt Island when the winds shifted, gained strength, and pushed her into Black Rock Point. Because she was running at full steam, her boilers were red hot, and when they made contact with the cold water, they exploded, tearing the ship apart and sinking her in just six seconds. We're still out to locate the lucky porthole, but while we're here, we decide to check out the surface condenser, which was thrown from the ship. It was used to save and recycle water for her boilers and illustrates the power of the explosion. Turning back towards the main wreck site, we swim past the midsection and find beauty within what was a terrible maritime disaster that claimed at least 120 lives. After over 150 years underwater, the wreck site is now covered with all kinds of sea life and is home to many species, including the spotted 
Moray Eel. When the winds shifted and the roan smashed into Black Rock Point, it's said that her captain was thrown overboard and never seen again. Her passengers, however, were still below deck in their cabins, tied to their bunks for safety, which was common at the time. Moving down the stern section, we find numerous portholes. Each one would have had a number on its hinge that correlated with the cabin number it belonged to. The lucky portal is number 26. And although the numbers have long since been obscured, lucky porthole number 26 will be the only one with its glass still in place. After almost swimming over it, Evan locates the shiny brass portal with glass just below him, and we descend down to rub it for luck. The brass ring is shiny from divers touching it over the years and it's hard to say if it brought the residents of cabin number 26 any luck because they would have been tied to their beds while the water rushed into the ship. But there were 25 lucky people that did survive the storm and the explosion on October 19th, 1867. Whether or not it brings us luck will remain to be seen, but there is one more thing we have to do before heading to the surface and that swim through the underside of the ship where the massive brass propeller is. Regardless of whether or not the portal brings us luck in life, we do feel lucky to have been able to spend so much time down here exploring this historic shipwreck. I think that was another great dive. The stern section is really neat. There is a nice shallow water dive and we found the lucky portal. We did, we got to touch it. So hopefully that'll bear well for us, yeah? Yeah, it was really cool. We got to go through the propeller. It was nice and easy down there. There were some schools of some smaller fish, but it was it was really cool. Yeah, so next up, we got to take our uh, boat and reposition it back to Cooper Island. We're going to swap out our tanks for some fresh ones, head to Norman Island, where we're going to overnight there. And then tomorrow, we're going to dive a couple more sites. So stick with us through, uh, through the video series here, Diving the British Virgin Islands. If you guys haven't seen the video on diving the bow yet, check that out next. See you next time underwater.